real excited about this video about ice cream and how to freeze dry it. I'm going to show you how to scoop the ice cream today. I'm going to show you um, how to do it quickly so that the ice cream doesn't melt, when you should be putting it in the freeze dryer um, that's already cooled, and just kind of the whole process. If you find the content of any of this video or the videos that I've done in the past, please like the videos. It really helps with the search engines and how YouTube categorizes videos and would really help me out. First, I do premium ice cream. What I find is that Tillamook ice cream is a little bit more premium, a little bit more costly, but I do find that it's just a lot better quality product, and I'm sure you guys like eating it as well. The tools that I use, I use cookie scoopers, and these mini scoopers create that bite size that your customers are really gonna like in the bag when you put them together, and I found that it goes faster and it just holds up better. Hey, a couple tips for you before we start. One is make sure that the freeze dryer is less than 15 degrees. The second thing is, is I'm at the commercial kitchen, so I'm gonna show you where I park all the trays and the ice cream. I keep the trays in here because it gets it cold, and then I've got all the ice cream. Ice cream is probably one of the more difficult types of ice because it's, it obviously it can melt very quickly, and you need to be really fast at this. So I'm gonna show you kind of very slowly the, te the technique and the, the fluidity that I use to do ice cream and then I'll put it on a time lapse so that you can kind of see how I do it at more kind of a full speed. So, Okay, so I've got a frozen tray right here. This is frozen already and then I've got the ice cream already out. You actually really don't want to go through the entire ice cream all at once. I go until it gets a little bit more of a watery, like it's not compact as far as the ice cream goes, so, it, so that way it creates a really solid ice cream scoop. I've got water right here to rinse out so that if, it, if the ice cream's too hard, I can scoop it out more easily. So I'm gonna show you what I do. Again, this is a frozen tray, make sure it's frozen, and then I've got the ice cream out. And what I like about these scoops, these mini, uh, cookie dough scoops is that it creates a, a really nice bite sized scoop. Again, you want to be quick about it. You're just using those, those pinchers to get the ice cream scoop out. And what I've done here is you can see there's seven ice cream scoops in line here. You can really stack these up. Again, when you're running a freeze dry business, you want to maximize the amount of product that you can get on the trays. Um, Obviously, the more product that's on there, it, the dry time is going to be longer, but you're going to get more product out of it. So I'm actually going to doing this so that you can see how many lines I do. I'm probably going to do four here, and the reason being is because I can already feel that the ice cream is getting a little bit soft, and I want to make sure that all of these balls are really nice and compact. This is a huckleberry ice cream. In Idaho you can pick up huckleberries. Freeze dryer is already at 15 degrees so it's gonna keep those ice cream scoops frozen so we can keep rotating. Again we're gonna do all five trays so that it's cold. Four or five columns deep, six to a, to a row, and then we're gonna take out the first one we put in on the next time around and just keep rotating out. So. This first one that we go in, once we get to the fifth one, we go back to the first one and we bring that one out. That'll be cold again, the trays will be cold, and you do another five or six rows, that way the ice cream is still solid, and then we can just keep going, keep going, keep going. So I'm gonna put on a time lapse or just put on a video so you can see how I'm doing this. And I really hope you enjoy this video if you've been looking for how to know how to freeze dry ice cream. I hope this video helps you. And I know it helped me to kind of understand this better as I've gotten more efficient.
every single tray in for the first load of ice cream that I had is this bottom one has already been in there for about 15 minutes at 15 degrees. So take that bottom one out, so it's gonna be whatever that flavor was. Go and get a new carton of ice cream or one that's been in there for a while and go ahead and do another five or six rows. Okay, I just finished up all the ice cream. It was a lot of work, probably about 45 minutes. When I first started scooping ice cream and doing it for the freeze-dried business, definitely took almost about an hour and a half. A couple things that I've learned over the course of doing ice cream is, one, take your time. You do not want the ice cream to become more soft. You want it to be hard. So once you feel it being soft, just go ahead and get a new carton. Now for the ice cream, I used Tillamook one and a half quarts. And what I found is that each tray can fit about one and a half of those, so two quarts. So if you really stack it, if you really do seven scoops across and, and do multiple rows stacked together, you can fit a lot of those on there. This is a lot of ice cream. Again, I did, I did Mountain Huckleberry, I did white chocolate raspberry, and I did cookies and cream. And uh, I, I do charge a premium for the ice cream, but I hand scoop it all. And that's indicative of just my business, is I try to make things a little bit more quality, a little bit more of the edge. Okay, the moment of truth. Ice cream is done. Let's take a look and see how it turned out. This is the huckleberry. Raspberry white chocolate. Here's the cookies and cream. Right, so let's go ahead and taste out the huckleberry. I already grabbed a, a piece here. It's definitely gonna be crunchy because it's obviously freeze dried. It's not gonna be melting at all. So. That's good. So it has a little bit of the fruit type of side in the middle. Once I hit that, man, that's really good. Also one of the things that you want to do after the ice cream is done, make sure you're hitting that you want to warm up the trays. Try to get it to where it's actually warm or like right after it's done because you don't want any like of the, even though the freeze dryer cools down after a cycle, you don't want it to be cooling and have those kind of ice crystals form again. So just get, hit the warm trays, let it heat up to above 100. It actually took about 32 hours or so. But again, I filled up the trays pretty full. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you liked what you saw and it helped you with your freeze dry business, please do me a favor and hit the like button on this video. It really helps my videos climb up for other people that are looking to know how to freeze dry ice cream. Thanks a lot and we'll see you again soon. Bye.